For the longest time, I thought that environment variables could only be used if we had the enterprise plan and then we would have access to these variables right here. And I figured out that that's not really true. And what I'm talking about is specifically this. So all I really have here is an edit fields node. And when I click on it, you see that I've placed in an env, which is referring to the env of testing. When I run this node, this is what I get. Env is here. Okay, but where did I place this env? And why would I use this? This, this is special because when you have a generic workflow and you want to hook it in to any other company or uh, to a different process, you'll have to set manually each one of these variables. And that, that could be annoying because if you don't have everything documented correctly, you won't know like which nodes you have to go in through because eventually you'll have so much nodes in here that it just gets tough for you to go through each one of them and see, okay, where did I place a static uh, env, right? Uh, let's suppose this right here was filled in with something like a WhatsApp instance, right? We have instances in evolution. Every time you set that instance, it's it would be like this, right? And let's suppose like here in another like part of the workflow, you'll also be using that WhatsApp instance. And it would be annoying for you to go through each one of these every time you have a new project and set this up every single time. So the way you set that up is, let's go back to our easy panel. Probably you've set up any an inside easy panel. If you haven't, then it might be a different process, but uh, independent on how you set this up, you'll probably be using environment variables inside of NAN and that's where you need to get to. So just in case you're using easy panel, all you have to do is come to your projects, click on NAN, come to variables and inside the variables, this is all the variables that you can set up. All you have to do in here is place um, a variable. Preferably it should be spaced with underscore. You can't like use test this and expect it to be a variable. Just look up how to create actual variables and especially focus on environment variables because it, it has a different syntax. Okay, so inside here I could test like blah and this was a test, okay? As soon as I save this, I have to hit deploy. I have to redeploy this. So independent on where you're, you're doing this, you'll have to think on how you're going to redeploy it. Uh, let's go, go back to the overview soon enough. Okay, it's ready. I can go back here, F5 this, probably doesn't even need to F5 that, but now you have access by using this exact syntax, env, and then the name of the row. Was the naming exactly this? Yeah, blah. Okay, so when I test this, you see that I get the exact variable. And that's special because every single node that you place that, like this one right here, you test it, yeah, it was the same response. So this is good because when I come over here and say this was a test now, save this, then remember every single time you change the environment variables, you have to redeploy it pretty fast, probably already deploying. Three, two, one. Yeah, it's ready. Let's see if we actually need to refresh this. So previously it was, this was a test. Let's see. Okay, this was a test now. And the same will be for this node right here because it's just get grabbing everything from the centralized environment variable. Use these variables to move way faster. And that is it for this video. See you guys in the next one. Till then.